Hello, everyone. So um, I'm not a, per se, visual artist, but I started out in marketing, advertising, and also in fashion um, on the merchandising end. So my story comes from working with brands and artists to create sort of uh, these mediums that tell stories, which is culture is like a, the constant meme of life, right? So, and I say that in the sense of whatever is happening, they always say that art imitates life, but I feel like culture depicts actually what's really happening in our life and that which results in what's happening in art. Um, collaborations for me are used as storytelling. Um, and I say that in the sense of taking like Damien Hirst, whose uh, work was used in the Converse uh, Canvas Red campaign. As a result of that, they raised millions of dollars that was um, actually given to HIV AIDS awareness. And I think that if we have more um, sort of mission-minded collaborations in the art world, I think that it, people and artists will be more adept to um, want to work with brands because there's some, sort of like a stigma when artists work with brands of uh, they're like selling out or you know they're just doing it for the money. Although it does create you know great revenue streams for artists um, and as well as these brands, you have to look at it as a different platform. Brands collaborate and commission artists in order to like evoke an emotion and to engage the audience in this like what I call a critical passion point. Those critical passion points then affect the audience and the consumers, consumers who may not be collectors or have a critical eye for art who are now interested in whatever medium of art that this artist actually is, is has like is displaying or working in with this particular brand. A lot of exhibitions nowadays, especially if you think of like the Guggenheim Museum and like the Perez Art Museum, which I've worked with. I just did a collaboration with Ebony G. Patterson and the Perez Art Museum, which was sponsored by Louboutin. That in turn, um, you know, raised the bar for her artwork and also to put the museum on um, a different trajectory than maybe people not so much know about like their programming there. And I say that in the sense of uh, when you have a brand that's constantly supporting an, an institution, uh, you get the help and you get sort of like the, you get the, the exposure that you somewhat might not get. Like some of the smaller institutions don't have this like sort of financial support. And so that's why I, I specifically support it because that's the media, that's what I do for a living. So um, that's my bread and butter. <laughs> But in a different kind of collaboration, luxury brands have begun to like join forces with art galleries to create these exhibitions. And the artwork that is inspired by the brand, including installations, drawings, and pictures, it's always something that goes back to like either the brand's history um, or the artist's history, something that's happening in culture at the moment. And that's why I feel like this medium of um, collaboration has become very important. For me, a successful artist brand collaboration is when a brand and also the artist walk away with both of their core values being met and the artist's work is not compromised. Um, I recently just worked on a project with Dior where they had like, I think it was nine women, they've done this a few different times, they have nine women who collaborate with them to produce a handbag. Of course, one of the artists was Micheline Thomas, um, who I've also worked with on other projects before, and um, it was fantastic. But each one of them provided an artist statement that was displayed in the store that sort of um, depicted their core values. And for me, as long as the artist is happy, like Chantel Martin at the... Um, the America the Ballet Theater, New York Ballet Theater, I think it's like genius. The space was immersive. Here you are, you see a queer woman of color who is taking over a public space um, and has collaborated 
with a mostly like white institution. That's what it is. So I think that as long as the core values of the brands are being, is being met as well as the artists and the artist's message and the work is not being compromised, this has created a new stage for artists that work in film, in music, um, painting, sculpture, and yeah. And now I want to open up for questions.